pan up. Use a medium flame, you know, around 275 degrees, and then you want to get your extra uh, virgin olive oil and use about two tablespoons of that. And then listen, I'm using fresh garlic cloves. I use maybe about 10 to 12 of them. You know what I mean? I just crack them, peel them, and then drop them in the oil as they heat. You just want to kind of like do some type, some sort of a like roast, you know, put a roast on it. Now, after roasting your garlic on both sides, you want to go ahead and add your chicken, you know, to your pot. Listen, you want to start, for me, I like to start with meat side down. And if you notice right here, I didn't season my meat, you know, in the beginning. You can. Uh, sometime I do it that way, this particular time, I just went ahead and put it in the pot. I mean, in the pan, you know, meat side down. And then, you know what, we're going to season it. I moved the uh, garlic around, you know, just arrange it so that it fits better. And then I went ahead and hit it with the salt. And as you can see, listen, everything is really like to taste. I will put the exact, you know, quantities and the recipe down in the description box below. Okay, and then next, you know, we use paprika. paprika. Paprika gives it that, you know, that nice color. So go ahead and sprinkle that on the top, you know. And then after you sprinkle that on the top, then we're going to move over to the next ingredient, which would be, you know, the black pepper. And go ahead and just put, I like a lot of black pepper, you know what I mean? So be generous with it. And listen, we're going to let that, you know, uh, baste and marinate on the top as it's cooking. After about 10 minutes, and then you want to start flipping your chicken over, you know, so that you can cook it on the other side. I suggest that while it is cooking for its 10 minutes, that you keep an eye on the, uh, the way it's browning. You don't want to over uh, cook it and you don't want to burn the top. So if, that's, if it seems like it's cooking a little too fast, what you want to do is just re reduce the, uh, the heat. And then after that, once you have everything flipped over, then there you go. You just start seasoning it again in reverse. Now you're putting the seasoning, seasoning on the top. Next, I'm using Bertoli's. Look, this is garlic alfredo with aged Parmesan cheese. And those of us that are washing our carbs, each serving only has two grams of carbs, and there's only seven servings on the whole bottle. So that's 14 grams of carbs. And listen, this right here is what ties this, this you know, together, along with that fresh garlic. Okay, now you can see the way that I'm uh, just pouring it. I didn't want to pour it on top because I'm thinking about, you know, just my presentation at the end. You know what I mean? So we're going to start cooking it just like this. And what you're seeing is, that's the juices and that's the flavor coming, you know, from the chicken and it's starting to mix with the alfredo sauce. All I can tell you is, please don't let the carb count and, you know, the whole thing about keto and all of that discourage you. This right here is a delicious meal. So what I'm doing right there is I'm just trying to, you know, get everything to just bind together, you know, in the mix when I'm cooking, you know, cooking the chicken. And then we want to get to an internal temperature of 165 degrees for our chicken. You know, outside of that, Listen, I can tell you this, you can make this, you can put it over noodles if you want to, or you can put it over a bed of rice, however you want to do it, you know, do it your way. But if you're looking for a great keto, you know, with a uh, keto recipe with an explosive taste, this is it right here. 